welcome to Firearms of America. Today, as you guys can see, I'm out here at Shooters in Fort Myers, Florida, about to do the review of another 1911. Have not reviewed the 1911 in a while. So here we go, the SDS. And I was wondering, what is SDS? Until I took a closer look and found out that this is Tissas. Yes, the Turkish uh, Tissas Zigana. Uh, this is their M1911 duty version chamber in 45 ACP 5 inch so full size all right 5 inch barrel uh, 8 plus 1 capacity comes with one magazine let's load this one magazine with some 5 rounds of uh, 45 ACP and uh, do some shooting and see what this uh, thing can do now if you are not familiar with uh, TESAS or in fact Turkish firearms in general um, pretty good, pretty good in my experience so far. I would say 95% was really good stuff and 5% was some hit and miss, a little bit quality control issues. But if you are interested in getting a Turkish firearm, nothing wrong with that. Some great brands out there like shotgun brand Garisar, fantastic. Have not had any problems with them. In fact, a few shotguns that I still have, uh, one of them is my main home defense weapon is a Garisar shotgun. Um, and uh, whenever it comes to handguns, Canik, they have been pretty good. They had a few on and off, nah, hit and miss, but uh, so far been pretty good. Okay, so let's get back to this thesis. We have our eight round magazine, which is nicely numbered. As you can see, you have five rounds in there. Now, 45 ACP in uh, five inch barrel, should be handling pretty good. Let's see what uh, this thing, can do. I'm oh, ex excited. It's been a while since I shot the 1911. Okay, here we go. Oh wow, wow. It's a nice slide. Okay, so we. Uh, I'll try to hit that little white at the very there, right there. Yeah, at the very bottom. Okay, let's see if uh, if I can do it. Pretty good sights. Not too shabby. Okay, so the recoil is not bad. Uh, a few things that I wanna start with, obviously we usually start with the uh, grip and that's what I wanted to start with. There is not a lot of aggression on the grip. It's fairly smooth overall. Uh, and as you can see, this thing is still smoking. <sighs> we, <laughs> we have some serrations going in the back. We don't have anything going on the front, so over here at the front is just smooth and there are no serrations at the front of the trigger guard, which is fine for 1911. Uh, but I do wish that there was a little bit more aggression on the grip uh, at the back, at the front, and the, uh, I think the grip place could have been better. I think just a little bit more aggression would have been nicer just to help you, you know, just controlling that recoil a little bit better. We have, of course, our beaver tail safety over here. Nice beaver tail. See, not really a one-hand operation, so you do have to pull the slide back in order to lock it, which is fine. With the round, it will lock like it's supposed to. Uh, so as you can see, we have our uh, beaver tail with a nice extended beaver tail safety with a nice extended beaver tail going, so nicely protecting your uh, hand from the slide traveling backwards. We have our uh, mag release over here, which is your, looks just like your typical 1911 mag release. Works very well. Uh, very fast ejection, check this out. It's almost like it is spring loaded and uh, of course makes it easier to uh, uh, replace the uh, magazines. Now we are moving on further. We got our uh, manual safety over here, which is ambidextrous. Check this out. And uh, it's nicely extended, so you, have, you can have your, which is probably what your grip is going to be like, uh, thumb resting on uh, the safety. Now, personally for me, it's not the best fitting gun because my fingers are kind of short, so whenever I have my thumb going all the way over, 
the safety over here, it just is a little bit, uh, a little bit uncomfortable. Not a big deal, just a personal thing, kind of look around. Uh, moving on to the slide, we have our serrations at the back and at the front, depending on how you are racking it, whatever. Uh, we have our slide release over here, which is not ambidextrous, but it does have a little bit of serrations uh, at the front over here as well. Let's put some five more rounds and then we will get into uh, talking about, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do not two rounds. I'm gonna do another five round, maybe two rounds for now. And uh, cause I wanna test a trigger a little bit better before I get to talking about it. All right, let's see. Very easy to rack, very nice and smooth slide. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, all right, let's talk about the trigger. As you can see, skeletonized trigger. Actually, very, very good. You can be very accurate with this trigger. Check this out. So we have about, uh, probably like two, maybe two and a half millimeters of safe, familiar travel, and then a crisp break. Ha <laughs> ha! Check this out. That is a very good trigger. Boom, and crisp break. Fantastic, so you can definitely be accurate with this gun. Now, speaking of the accuracy, let's talk about the sights. As you can see, it's your uh, three dot sight, Check this out, very basic, very standard, very easy to acquire the target, nothing crazy. Um, the flight itself, like I said, it's fairly easy to rack, nothing crazy, and as you can see, it is built, let's see if I can move it in this position, it's built fairly tight. Check this out, not too shabby for uh, $500 1911, pretty good, I have to say. I am very impressed. I think the best part about this gun though um, is the trigger because the trigger is really, really nice. I'm gonna do it again, check this out. So about two and a half millimeters and then a crisp break. All right, so let's put some, uh, where's my magazines are right here? Some last five rounds through this gun and then we'll uh, try to come up with some reasonable conclusion. So for a Turkish firearm, Turkey's doing a pretty good job, honestly, with uh, their firearms. Thesis, I'm pretty sure I've shot a 1911 Thesis before, and it was an older model, their A1, I think, 1911, not sure which model it was, but it was definitely an older one. Uh, I think it was wooden grip and all that sort of stuff. But it was pretty good. This, however, I have to say, definitely better. Uh, the trigger is fantastic, the sights are great. Uh, very easy to be accurate with this gun. So if you really want a 1911, a 45 chambered 1911 without breaking the bank, okay? <laughs> this is a pretty good option. Okay, so got the last five rounds. You know what? Maybe I will uh, try to hit them flappy paddles. These ones right there, because a 45, I tried to shoot it with a 57, 28, 57, 28, and I wasn't able to and to turn them, but now I can. Okay, so as you can see, with the round in the magazine, it is one hand operation. So pretty good. Let's see if I can uh, hit this pedals. Oh, yeah. And one more. Too bad, but, but you can see <laughs> with how much power this gun can just easily change. I mean, that's 45 ACP round, man. You can't really go any more American, right? 45 ACP, uh, truly American round. The 1911 is truly American gun. Well, except this one's made, <laughs> made in Turkey. But Turkey still, you have to give them props for uh, doing a good job, honestly, with the 1911, doing a good job. Um, you can see that the quality is not, obviously not 
I mean, not a high-end 1911 out there, not, not the fantastic one, but still very, very nicely built, uh, nicely shooting, great trigger, great sides, uh, the overall very good operation, so well done. TSS, SDS, I don't know where SDS is coming from. I have not done my research on those specifics. Doesn't really matter, but uh, looks like they are actually manufacturing them here uh, in uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. Check this out, Knoxville, Tennessee. Yes, yeah, so uh, that's probably just the American kind of, because uh, sometimes they create these sister, whatever, brother companies. Um, the main is in Turkey and then they have an American subsidiary or whatever the hell, uh, and then they named them a little bit different. So, let me know in the comments below, guys. What do you think about this gun, this 1911 over here? What do you think about this review? If you have any requests for reviews, drop them in the comments below and I'll uh, see if I can address them. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. This was Firearms of America. I'll see you guys in the next video.